Hey friends, so welcome to the Real Talk with Tara Martin on the Real Talk with Tara Martin page. This is a new page, um, pretty underdeveloped actually, and this is kind of a new format, but I'm trying it out. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a great extension to the Real VIP newsletter. If you're not um, subscribed to that, please do. I'll put in the comments uh, where you can subscribe, but you just go to my website, taramartin.com, and then you would just subscribe to the Real VIP newsletter. And so each one of the topics we'll be using um, in this live are going to be an extension. Well, I can't spell today. I think I need new contacts, y'all. Um, will be an extension to that newsletter. So something that either I talked about in the newsletter or in the case of today, what I'm going to be talking about in that newsletter. So yeah, I think it's kind of fun. It's just kind of a way to engage in a different way, maybe live with comments and, and chat with you all and connect in another way. So uh, yeah, to su subscribe to that newsletter, you just go to my website, tarammartin.com and um, a little pop-up will pop up and you just subscribe. And it's really that, it's pretty it's pretty easy. And um, each newsletter, so it's not like this long drawn out newsletter, real is an acronym. So it's being relatable, exposing a little vulnerability, approachable and learning through life. So in the newsletter, it's broken up into four pieces. It's a little R piece, a little E piece, a little A piece, a little L piece. And they're usually simple, short little tidbits of information. If you subscribe to our Sunday 7 on DBC Inc., I um, thought of that using the same format that I use for real VIP. So anyways, <laughs> and the idea all came from Tim Ferriss. So if you follow him and his Five Bullet Fridays, then yeah, that's kind of where I got the idea. So anyways, I'm super excited to be here today. If you are joining in, please do comment in the comments. Let me know who you are, where you're from. Um, all the comments will be entered to win real VIP swag at the end. Sometimes um, each week I'll be giving away some different swag. Sometimes it's a t-shirt, sometimes it's a book, sometimes it's just random swag that we have for Cannibal Inn, Be Real, and yeah, the real journey show. So check it out. We do have some some cool stuff coming this summer. So I'm really excited about being able to give away stuff in these little chats. Um, remember, this is about a 15 minute chat. We'll we'll kind of elaborate on one of the topics that's going to be talked about in the real VIP newsletter, which will come out this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Um, typically, it will be released on Wednesdays. That's usually its normal release day. But this week I am behind, <laughs> imagine that. And so it's not gonna come out yet. I'm just gonna try out this topic while we are chatting today. So um, yeah, if you are here and you're joining us, please do let me know in the comments, say your name, uh, say where you're from. Also, if you are joining in, another fun thing that I thought would be fun is I have this book of questions. And hey, Lisa, hey, Debbie, <laughs> thanks for joining. I have this book of questions. And I thought at the end, we'll do a, um, I did a random real question last time and I really liked it. I got a lot of fun feedback about that. So I'll be doing the random real question at the end of this one too. You get to learn a little bit more about me. And the fun thing is I have these two books of questions. So I thought you guys could choose a number one to 300. <laughs> I know it's a lot of numbers any number one through 300 that you, any number, and I will choose one of those numbers and answer that question that's in this book. And those questions are kind of deep. I mean, I will say some of those questions I can't answer live. <laughs> I just can't, it's too embarrassing. But most of them, I will just pull one out and just try to answer it live. Um, I think that could be a fun little ending to this chat. So like I said, this is an extension to the Be Real newsletter. And one of the topics I'll be talking about in the Be Real newsletter this week, um, hi Lisa, to Lisa's, <laughs> welcome, um, is this idea of, um, I read this quote and I'm going to pull it up so I don't butcher it, but uh, I don't even know the attribution. I'm so sorry. But it reminded me of this quote that I heard from my pastor when I was a young girl. I mean, when I was a teenager. Um <laughs> yeah, the question might be sassy, Lisa. <laughs> Some of them are quite 
I'm like, whoa, I don't even know if it answered that in front of my husband. <laughs> it's like really embarrassing. So choose a number one through 300, put them over in the comments. I'll uh, choose one of those questions. I'll do my very best to answer it. Um, that'll be later though in the show, but you can go ahead and put your number in if you want to. Um, this, this idea and this quote that I saw recently, it was so amazing. It reminded me so much of like this quote that I heard from my pastor when I was a teenager. Um, but he had said, my pastor had said, it's always best to consider what have you done for me formally, as well as what have you done for me lately? And that piece just kind of really stuck out, stuck, stuck out to me this week as I was thinking about a lot of different circumstances where that is the case. And this other quote that I was talking to my coach about, he was talking about this idea of the peak and the ending are not the only things that count. And I love that. The peak and the ending are not the only things that count. And I think when we think about life in general, we we consider the whole picture. We never, I mean, rarely are we pinpointing every little point in our day, right? That's kind of boring. It's like eating, sleeping, working, you know, <laughs> kind of boring. But we think about moments all along the journey. When I think about my son, I mean, he's 18 now. And when I think about him, I think about little moments all along the journey. I never think about very specific things. And I don't just think about the last thing that he did or the very first thing that he did. It's like all these little things in the middle that make this journey of parenting so amazing, right? There are moments that are super scary, but there's also all these beautiful moments in the process. It's the journey. And so I think sometimes when we are making decisions and, and really like just cut and dry decisions, I think it's really important that we don't just remember what has that person done or not done for me lately, but what have they done for me formerly? What, what was in place? What were all the great things that happened along that journey? And then now we have this one thing that is not so great, but how does it all weigh out? Do we really look at the whole picture? Are we to make the, or do we make these rash decisions based off the peak or based off the ending? And I, I would advise us, and, and I'm pointing to myself too, I am guilty of this as well, but I think it this idea just made me think about, it's so important to consider the whole picture. And as educators, we do this so beautifully with kids. We, we consider the whole picture of the kid. I mean, I hope we do. Um, we think about the whole kid all these different parts and pieces of this kid and how are we going to educate them and how are we going to make the best personal learning experience for this child to be successful but i think sometimes in our own lives we we don't give that kind of grace we don't always look at the whole picture it's like somebody does something to us and it hurts us and it, i guess it depends on what it is i mean sometimes you just got to cut it off <laughs> like if it's too bad but if it's something that can be worked out and they've done some really great things for you all along the way, I think it's just important that we don't base all of our decisions based off the peak and based off the ending, but we look at the whole journey. So I'm curious to know a little bit about um, your thoughts on that idea. Um, <laughs> Um, looking at the whole journey. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, I like the idea of the journey. It's it's really important. And it, it sounds so simple. It sounds so, um, yeah, duh, like I would do that. <laughs> but I feel like in general, people don't always do that. And I, I think it's really important. It's really important to see it. Um, you know, like a journey sandwich, all the parts that make up Make it up. Yes, I like the idea of a journey sandwich. And without a piece, it wouldn't have the same flavor. Exactly. So you just don't want bread and then the meats. Like we want all that stuff in between. I like fresh jalapenos on my sandwich. <laughs> so yes, yes, yes. I agree with you. And so I've just been thinking about that idea, especially with a lot of things and seeing on social media and people are making some poor choices and people are just you know, like deciding 
you can't be a part of my social media <laughs> BLN because of this poor choice. And maybe it is, maybe it is a choice that, you know what, I'm not willing to compromise on that. I don't want that to be a part of my life. And that's okay. You get to choose. But I think in some cases, um, there's a lot of cases where I think the peak and the ending shouldn't be the deciding factor. It should be kind of all those things in between that we remember. Just like when we're looking back on our life's journey, we we think about all these pieces. We don't think about just one piece. We're not just talking about the very end of our life or the very peak of our life, you know? And so um, Debbie says, it relates to us as educators and we should consider the process of learning, not just a final product. Exactly. Exactly. And this works socially, emotionally. And I think, so it brings up a great point, Debbie. I'm wondering, are we, are we empowering our kids to be able to do that same thing? To look at others socially and emotionally, the whole picture and not just one peak or one final moment. Um, really, that's a great, that's a great way to think of it. I love it. And then Lisa says, I think it's hard. Sometimes I think when we hit the low or when things get tough, that's when people quit. And, and so sadly, right? Because sometimes the best things are just beyond that mark. Um, you guys know that I love fitness and I find when I'm ready to truly just throw in the towel, I feel like I've given it everything. I, the best is yet to come. Like I then meet a PR and I push myself just to the next limit and get myself just a little bit further. And so I really advise us not to quit when it's getting really, really tough because that's where the growth is happening. And the very next moment, it could be a more defining moment along your journey. So totally, totally. Thanks Tish for joining in while you're running. I hope this is making sense. Um, I love this one too. <clears throat> Yes, Lisa is agreeing with the other Lisa. We got some Lisa power in the house today. I'm excited. Yes, we would like others to give us grace too. Think about when we make a really bad mistake or we have a really mountain moment. That's the thing. I love that about the quote that I read to you. It's not it's just the peak. The peak and the ending doesn't define, it's not everything. And I, I think we have to remember that too. Like sometimes we have these really high moments and I think sometimes we're always chasing that high again, but it's all the stuff along the way that makes us who we are and that makes us the leaders and the educators that we are today. So yeah, this is kind of my thought today. It's not what have you done for me formally, but it's not what have you done for me lately, but what have you done for me formally? Or the quote that I read to you earlier was the peak and the ending aren't the only things that count. And so either way, either quote you want to kind of piggyback on or think about, I think it's just something great to ponder and something that's been on my mind lately. And I've been thinking about that as I'm making decisions or I'm seeing others make decisions. I'm like, oh, I wonder what came before. I wonder what came along the journey. And is that one thing worth severing that whole entire relationship I just wonder. I mean, and sometimes I think it is, you know, it depends on what that one thing is. But I think a lot of times it's worth considering the entire journey before we make those kinds of decisions. Um, Lisa says, sometimes it's hard too because often people focus on the peak <clears throat> that was negative, a behavior in a student, et cetera, and can hold that against them instead of learning more about them, embracing who they are. Yeah, not just our students, but also just people in our life, right? I think that's that's very true. And it happens a lot more often than I, I think any of us would be willing to admit. And even in my own life, you know? And so, yeah, those are kind of my thoughts today. I promised I would keep this around 15 minutes. I definitely want to do that. Um, so just another thing, it'll be coming out in the v Real VIP. Another thing that I will be listing in there is a few cool resources. One is a great TED Talk that I recently listened to. There's a great article in there about um, a lot of different, <laughs> there's a couple of articles in there and a podcast too that I'll be listing. So be sure if you're not subscribed to the Real VIP, go ahead and sign up on my website, TaraMMartin.com and subscribe. And then before we end the show, we do need to do the real 
random, random real question. I'm really nervous about this, by the way. I don't know why I decided to do this. And then I read these questions in this book and I'm like, whoa, like, I don't know if I can answer that live. So be sure and put over in the comments a number one through 300. I'll be choosing one of those numbers to answer one of the questions in this cute little book. Um, this should be fun and interesting. You guys may, may never join back or this would be like the real, real talk. And you're like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to see what she comes up with next week. So one through 300, I will choose one of the questions and answer it live. And then if you guys want to answer it in the comments, you could also answer it too. Um, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> that was a delightful 15 minutes. Well, we're not quite done yet. It's about to be done though. So remember, drop your number over in the comments. I will choose some, some people put some numbers over in my other comments. So let me get a look and see what those numbers are and see if we can maybe choose one really quickly. Okay, see some numbers coming. All right, I'm gonna choose, oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna choose number 13. Okay, so number 13. Um, <laughs> okay, this one's not too bad. I can do this one. Um, do you ever spit, clean your teeth, or pick your nose in public? <laughs> that one's nice and random, and I like it. It's not so scary. Um, do you ever spit, clean your teeth, or pick your nose in public? So you guys can answer in the comments. I'm going to answer to you. I definitely pick my teeth almost every time I eat. I don't know if you've ever seen my teeth, but there's a lot of gaps. And so I always get lettuce, avocados, pepper. Um, I definitely pick my nose in public too. Um, I guess if public counts like in your car, I'm always nervous about having a booger, having stuff in my teeth. So those are definitely two things I do. I don't really spit. I don't know that I really ever spit honestly <laughs> i'm not really a spitter but um i guess two out of three yeah anybody else i see some teeth and nose no <laughs> i'm definitely a bigger nose i'm always like did i just pick my nose where people can see oh my gosh um but yeah, super funny. Love these random questions. I'll keep doing those at the end of each show. I think it's just kind of fun. And yeah, thanks for joining again for the Real Talk with Tara and Martin. We'll have it again next Thursday. And we'll just elaborate on one of the topics, a quote, an idea that has been on my mind. And maybe get your ideas over in the comments. And as we are going about our week, just be thinking about what have you done for me formally formerly versus what have you done for me lately or the peak and the ending aren't the whole thing they aren't everything so thank you so much for joining real talk with tara hope to see you next week i'll be choosing someone in the comments to receive some swag i'll be sure and comment below and say who that winner is i will get your email and your mailing address so I can send that over to you tomorrow when I make my mail out. So thanks again. Have a rocking week, everyone.